so hey guys um, fellow trekkies let's see another unboxing this just came in yesterday but I did not have time to do a video or uh, even unbox it yesterday because uh, it came just before I had to go to work um, so yeah let's take a look this is a package that comes from oh I believe it's from the, somewhere in the US okay so let's give a look this is the uh, seller's information manufacturing figures uh, uh, they, yeah, they are located in Miami oh I didn't know it was from Miami okay manufacturingfigures.com so I bought it off eBay but he given me his card cool nice uh, nice design on the on the business card he's got <laughs> a lot of packaging and yes it does come with the magazine Okay. Here's the uh, ship. Let me put this packaging back. The wrapping paper. Oh. I just woke up sometime back. I've had a late night. <laughs> okay. So let's. Uh, there's a look at the back uh, back of the magazine. That's what they look like. So this is the Intrepid um, from. I believe it's been shown in three episodes of, uh, and I can't really remember seeing it, but I know the design quite well. Uh, last time I watched the see, okay, it's from uh, Enterprise, Star Trek Enterprise, and the last time I watched Enterprise was uh, I completed watching the entire four seasons in January of two, uh, January two thousand four. But I don't know this design thing. Uh, sorry, this particular design seemed to have skipped my memory altogether. But I have seen it uh, sin since then on various. Um, oh, without a without a scissors, it's, it's very difficult to actually open this stuff up. Give me a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> There we go. So without scissors, it's actually quite difficult to open this thing up. So there is the um, magazine that you can see, the United Earth Starfleet Intrepid. So it's not the Intrepid class. That would be Voyager and Company. Um, this is a uh, pre-Starfleet. Oh, this is Starfleet, but pre-Federation ship. Mm, it's called Intrepid, United Earth Starfleet Intrepid. But they don't see anything written on the uh, on the ship itself. So it's launched in. The 22nd century, it's called Intrepid Type. Law length is 165 meters. <coughs> UES, United Earth. What is that? <laughs> United Earth Starfleet. Yeah. Way before, uh, before the Federation. So, from Eagle Moss once again. 165 meters, uh, face cannons, torpedo launchers, captain by Ramirez. So, some interesting shots. It's a very uh, unique kind of design. Uh, that's Ramirez over there. Uh, primary mission was to act as a part of space defense fleet for Earth and its early off world colonies in the solar system uh, Alpha Centauri, Deneva, Terra Nova, and Vega. Uh, was a forefront of the later NX class sorry a forerunner of the latest NX class and although less advanced in shape and generally yeah it, it is pretty much similar to the NX series so if you notice a lot of the um, like when you have uh, I would say this is probably the nebula class of uh, the NX series uh, it's quite similar to the nebula class for the uh, galaxy class so that's what I would say uh, but it's a very interesting design nice look can see it's got a lot of similarities to the NX series. Mm -hmm. So it's only been seen in Enterprise. That look, this, this kind of reminds me of uh, some Aztec uh, designs or something like that, some headgear or some earrings, something like that. It's got a very unique look, especially this part. Ah, this is the con the early concepts. That's what it what they were looking like. It's all I always find this quite interesting. There's another look that would have been awesome and um, pretty much the same but still yeah so these are some other concepts that were rejected um, 
This is about Robert Bonchun who basically designed these uh, this intrepid. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Let's take a look at the ship herself. There you go. She is going to look pretty awesome in my collection. Again, this is one of those ships that I never really knew too much about, but once I saw that they were make, coming out with it, I just had to get it. Oh, you can actually fix it. Uh, let's see. Again, can I actually do this with just one hand? There you go. There's a stand. I'm surprised that's the only one that can actually, you can actually do that. Pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty weighty. Uh, this part is like cast metal, I guess, and this is plastic. This is what it looks like from the back. See? There's a quite a lot of uh, resemblance to the ship, but this is a different kind of color. Wasn't really expecting this. Hmm. But yeah, pretty nice. I guess it looks different on the uh, on screen on the other videos that I've seen. So yeah, that's it. That's basically the uh, stand and the ship itself. I'll have a closer look video at it a little later. But that's the Intrepid, as seen in Star Trek. Enterprise. Thank you guys and take care.